the OT Tools by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the bitmap method or mode to create some interesting half tone screen image effects. Now, first thing to do, I've just got an image here, and you use a small image. Obviously, you, it's going to probably be best to use like a very low frequency for the settings, but anyway, this one's about what you see image size. About 2000 by 2000, but if you use like 400 by 400, the effects will be slightly different, so bear that in mind. Now, first thing to do, just go to image and mode grayscale because you'll notice that the bitmap is not available until you actually go to grayscale anyway. And then go to bitmap and it'll say flatten layers, okay? Now, you'll notice there's various things 50% threshold pattern. But there's also a half tone screen. So once you select that, go with that 72 as before. And now what you can do, unfortunately, there's no preview. So it's a bit of a hit and miss trial and error to use this. So there's frequency, and I'm going to show you, I can set it say, say 30. I'm going to use ellipse 90. I'm just going to so you can apply it and you can see it's very, very hard to actually see any. Well, you can see the obviously the result, but I don't want that. What I want is bitmap, it's going to come up with that. Actually, before I do any further, let's just flatten the image so it won't do that again. Now, image, bitmap, and click OK. I'm going to reduce that down. So I'm going to go for, say, five. Now, of course, you can go down to one, you make it very crude, and you go with different ones. It's got line, square. I'm just going to go say line. Click apply, and now you've got that line effect there, and you can see the lines, quite intense lines. Now, you can do, undo that, of course, quickly, bitmap, and you can go, say, click OK again, and go for one. You can make it quite crude, you'll actually make a, but that's still quite effective. And of course, what you can do once you've done that, you can actually go back to image, and you can go to grayscale. Go there, make sure I get it. Click OK, and then you can go to image, and RGB and you can apply effects of course you can do the same as you say blur Gaussian blur and you can blur that and you've got a really nice sort of line design there but what you can also of course do you can go back again grayscale go to bitmap and I could of course undo all the way back to the original image but I'm just using this what, what we've actually got click OK and instead of say like using 90, what you can do, of course, you can use zero. And you can then go use line again, or you could use the other one, and you can click OK. And then you can create obviously different combinations. That's basically what I'm showing, just so you can now it doesn't particularly work very well if you use that combination without applying an effect in between, say like Gauss and Blur. I have to change it a bit. So but you can undo that and then go to image bitmap again and Use that still, click OK, maybe make that to three, and maybe use diamond. And that's it, click OK, and you can see now a different effect is achieved. You've got this lovely sort of weird diamond effect going combining with the lines. Now, I'm actually going to go back now, all the way back to this one. So, the bitmap there, no, flatten image, go to bitmap, first time without, click OK, and use the same. So, diamond with three and angle zero and create that. And then of course you can go to grayscale, click OK, and then apply effect, Gaussian blur. And you can still see the lines, but you can then go back, bitmap mode, click OK, and maybe use one and use lines. And maybe even change the angle. You don't have to go to the same angle as there, you can go to 34. And you can see you've got the rippling of the original with mixed in with the line. So you can just create some whole range of different line designs. And of course, once you've actually got that, what you can do then, you can actually go, and I'm just going to go back again, grayscale. We do have to go through that stage, but anyway, RGB, back to RGB. And then of course, what you can do, you can actually use maybe like selection. So you can just say, select that. And what I want to do, obviously select, and I'm just going to quickly go down similar. So I'm just going to create all that similar. And then I can just go to window and pass and new path. 
make a work pass. Click OK. That takes a few seconds to process. Hopefully it will do it. And you've got the design. Sometimes it won't. You'll suddenly go, no, I'm not going to do it. But if it does, there you've got that sort of nice vector design then. And you can go from there. And you can, of course, define it as a custom shape. So click OK as a custom shape. And now I'm just going to flatten that. I'm just going to remove that. I don't want that anymore. Just go to another document. It's even easier. Than if it wants to decide to come up to a new document, right. It will at some point, yes. Gonna go for that one, create. And now, of course, you can go over here, custom shape, select that custom shape, and then I'm just gonna change the color to black. It doesn't have to be black, but it just makes it more visible. And you can apply the design there. And you can see, I've got a nice, quick, and easy custom shape design using this bitmap approach. But of course you can use it for other things as well. You can then, let's say, apply other effects and do much more with it. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.